Today on our 2016 Chevrolet Equinox, we're doing a test fit of the Kua MV 2.0 platform style 2 bike rack. That part number is NV22G. And we already have our bike secured down. We're first going to show you one of the key features of our rack. We're going to come here to the side and pull down on our lever. And that's going to allow us to rotate our bike rack and tilt it away from our vehicle with our bikes fully attached. Now at this point, we're going to be able to gain full access into our back hatch area to get anything in or out that we may need. So what's great about this is that we don't have to worry about taking our bikes or our bike rack off of our vehicle just to gain that access. And we'll just simply lift up until that clicks to secure it back into place. As for how our bike is secured down, here at the back we have a cam buckle strap which is quick and easy to remove. And then at the front we have a wheel hook which sits either in front of our brakes or in front of our frame depending on how our bike is made. We would push on the black button to release it and then pull straight down to ratchet that down. We can move that out of the way and we'll remove our bike. We want to make sure that we replace our hook so it doesn't get damaged. And you'll notice on each end where our bikes are secured down we have the option of that cable lock there to help prevent theft and tampering. Now we'll take a few measurements here. First is going to be overall what we're adding to our vehicle. We're going to have about 30 inches. We've got a ground clearance of about 20 inches. Closest point is going to be about 7 inches away. And from the center of our hitch pin hole to our closest point we're going to have about 12 inches. Now we do have another position we can put our rack into. We're going to pull down on the lever once again and fold this up. Now a great feature about this rack, if we open up the lever down here, is that we do have this telescoping workstation here. We're able to secure our bike to it and make any adjustments that we may need to either before or after a ride. We're not going to have to worry about our closest point because our rack is very solid. It won't make any contact with that back portion of our vehicle. We've got a lot of room back there. Now we're only adding about 15 inches to our vehicle with a ground clearance of about 12 and a half inches. As for our hitch, this is designed to work with two inch hitches only. As you'll see here, we have our pin and lock that's going to help prevent theft and tampering. And then here at the back, we have our anti-rattle device, which is going to help keep a lot of the shake and play out of the bike rack as you head down the road. So that's going to be our completed look at the Kuat MV 2.0 platform style 2 bike rack, part number NV22G on our 2016 Chevrolet Equinox. First we'll take it onto our slalom course. This will show you the side to side action, such as making turns or evasive maneuvers. Now we're at the alternating speed bumps. This will show you how it looks driving on uneven pavement or potholes. Finally, we're at the solid speed bumps, which simulates going into your driveway or parking lots. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.